One of the questions we get all the time is how are ACE inhibitors both renal protective in diabetic patients, but at the same time, they can also cause renal failure. And so this first scenario I'm going to explain is how they can be renal protective. So first, we're going to start with the glomerulus. And you have the afferent arterial and the efferent arterial. Now, for this scenario, the starting point is you have a diabetic patient, and in diabetic patients, you have a, you're starting with a high pressure state in the kidney. And you can think of this as maybe lots of glucose rushing through the glomerulus. That's not necessarily exactly what's happening, but if it helps you remember that there's a high pressure state in the kidney in a diabetic patient. And what this pressure does is it alters the basement membrane of the glomerulus, causing proteinuria. Now, we all know that there should be no protein in your urine at all, okay? So angiotensin II works here at the efferent arterial, and normally, for those of us who do not have diabetes, if we're dehydrated or we have some low flow state going on, your renin angiotensin system kicks in so that angiotensin II clamps down on your efferent arterial to maintain your pressure. Now, if we give an ACE inhibitor to uh, this diabetic patient, you are blocking angiotensin II and thereby causing a vasodilation, and therefore you will reduce the pressure in the kidney and get rid of the proteinuria. So this is how ACE inhibitors can be renal protective. Your starting scenario is a high pressure state in the glomerulus.